All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Time to discuss another problems plus example. Uh, this is problems plus basically our advanced uh, problems inside my calculus book at the end of each chapter, and they usually go over pretty good problem solving technique. And in this case, we're going to look at introducing a new variable to simplify problems and basically use this concept to basically solve this uh, advanced example right here. This uh, limit right here which states limit as x approaches 0 of square root, uh, I mean uh, it's cubed root 1 plus cx all minus 1 then all divided by x where c is a constant right here. In my earlier videos on limits I would try to simplify the top and bottom to solve it because in this case as you p plug in 0 right here you'll basically have a 1 over 1 uh, divided by zero, and then the top's gonna be one minus one. So you're gonna have a zero over a zero here. So this is the problem we have right here, and this is undefined. And actually, you could actually solve this using La Hapitel's rule, but I'll I'll do that at the end. Actually, that's a uh, uh, pretty uh, you could solve this pretty easily with with that if you know that one. Uh, you can see the video link below on La Hapitel's rule. I'll do that then. I just wanted to show this concept right here because this looks pretty complicated, but you could actually simplify this pretty easily by introducing a new variable and in this case we will let t equal to uh, cubed uh, root 1 plus c of x. So the idea of this we could simplify the whole equation but because now this is we want to get rid of this root right here so if we um, go to the power of cubed on both sides or just move this over this is the same thing as writing t cubed equals 1 plus c of x right here, so we want to change everything, uh, change the x's in terms of t. So we so we got rid of this one, it's going to be a t, but we saw this x approach is 0, etc, and these x's right here. So solving for x, we will get basically t minus 3 over, yeah, t, t to the power of 3 minus 1 all divided by c is equal to x right here, and as basically x approaches 0 for this list limit right here, we see that the only way this is possible is if uh, t uh, t cubed is approaching one right here, or basically as x approaches zero, t is approaching uh, yeah one right here. So we'll have a one cubed. It's gonna be one. So one minus one is uh, divided by c. Any any constant is gonna be zero, and so that's the limit right here. So now we're ready to just plug this inside here where, where we've got written, uh, rid of the cubed root to simplify it. So we'll have limit as t approaches 1 of now t minus um, minus 1 This is because we got rid of this we let this become t then the bottom is going to be what is this one this is t cubed minus 1 t cubed minus 1 all divided by c except the C is going to go on top. Yeah, and basically I just uh, rewrote it over top here, the, this limit t approaches 1, just put the C on top. Now, we could, uh, with this t cubed minus 1 at the bottom, uh, we could actually write it as a difference of squares. You can see that in, uh, see more on difference, I mean difference of cubes, you can see more on this in the uh, video link below. Basically, uh, if you have, yeah, if you have a difference of cubes like this, a cubed minus b cubed, then this just equals to a minus b times, well, a, a squared plus ab plus b squared. And again, you, well, you can see this in the video link below. I'll go over this in depth. And the reason we're doing this is to rationalize the, domin the denominator or making it just basically simplified it so we could cancel out this t minus 1 right here. So in this case, uh, t... Uh, cubed minus one again the one could be seen as a cube one cube is the same thing this one if we write it down in this way we're all gonna have t minus one and then this is gonna be a t squared plus a I mean plus t the one is is gone and then plus one squared right here so then we can just plug that in here and we will get yeah we'll basically get this limit here I'll just finish up writing this right here so we've uh, used a difference of cubes at the bottom and the, and the idea here is so we could write it such that we can cancel the top and bottom because when you plug in 1 inside here you're going to get a 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 or a 0 divided by 0 which is not defined. So then these cancel and we'll be left with limit as, yeah, as t approaches 1 of c and then the bottom here is going to be well t squared 
plus t plus uh, one right here, one uh, one squared, or just gonna be one. Now, when, when now we can just plug in the one inside here, and we will get well c, or then it's gonna be one plus one plus one. So you have three. So basically there is our limit right here. And we can double check this using Lahapi Tell's rule. And I, and I didn't use Lahapi Tell's rule because it's a bit more uh, like hard to understand. Lahapi Tell's rule or Lahapi Tell's is usually the S is not there and my calculus book has it. But if we use Lahapi Tell's uh, rule in this because the top and bottom are undefined, we have a zero over a zero. We could just take the derivative of the top and bottom. You can see more on this in the video link below. I just want to use a double check on uh, what we did. Yeah, so uh, here's the equation here. So we can just take a derivative on the top and bottom. So the top derivative is going to be, well, 1 over 3. We drag this down because remember, uh, 3 cubed, 1 plus cx. This is the same thing as uh, 1 plus cx to the power of 1 over 3 right here. So we always drag this down using product rule and then times this by, well, 1 plus c of x and minus this by 1 or 3 over 3, that's going to be 2 over 3. This is this is just 1 over 3 minus 3 over 3, and that's just 1. So it's going to get negative 2 over 3, and then the minus 1 is going to be 0, and then the bottom is going to be a 1. This is a derivative of uh, so dx over, uh, yeah, dx is just 1. So the derivative of x, x is just going to be, well, 1. And then uh, this one's going to be 0. So then we have this part here. And this one, we can rewrite this as a fret the right limit right here. And I'll just put it, uh, wrote it small right there. So we have this limit. And now this is also, we just write it a bit uh, better. We'll have 1 over 3. And then this is going to be at the bottom. And so we get rid of this negative right here. So this negative power. So 1 plus C. Oh, I forgot to, oh, I forgot another thing. Using chain rule. So when you take a derivative, you got to take derivative on, on what's in the variable as well x so then we're gonna have to have a c right here so c outside using chain rule so we have a c and then this is gonna be two over three and then we just plug in the zero right here so we plug it in there's no divided by there's no zero over zero this cancel we're gonna have three times one and we're gonna equal to c over three so you can do the happy tells rule or other rules but the idea of this i just wanted to show that you didn't have to resort to uh well, relatively complex uh, concepts, right? And you could just just stick to algebra and just switching the variable. And also just to illustrate how this can simplify the equation uh, just by introducing a new variable that's related to the old variable, this in, term, in this case, t in terms of x. And well, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this video. And make sure to check out the video links below. And also, you can download these notes in the Dropbox link below. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.